Ms. Blago says, I have one minute to make us sit down. I'd like to, um, in reflection to World War II, uh, one of my assignments was to, during typhoon season, to search for a C-47 that had been missing uh, from Clark Air Force Base where I was stationed. Uh, this was typhoon season, and we were airborne for about 15 minutes when we were hit by 125 mile winds. That left us with no gas, and ditching at sea, and surviving on seagulls and their blood for two weeks. Hope you enjoyed your chicken dinner tonight. <laughs> you were advised about my introduction to Dr. Ted Brunner. He was chairman of the Classics Department at University of California, Irvine. I met him when I first came to Laguna Beach in 1950, right after the Korean War. And uh, we asked what we each did. And I told him I had this foundation, but it wasn't particularly in any direction, but it did have a fundamental dedication to sports. So he put two graduate students to work, and they came out with the ancient Greeks who started it all. Uh, their emphasis in those 2,500 years ago was uh, imprinting boys and girls to respect the body as the most beautiful of creations. Kalos Kagathos, physical distinction, nobility of mind. Our logo is a boy runner who won the two mile foot race 2,500 years ago and uh, you'll see that on our medallions that we have created. Uh, Lisa Trent, who's sitting down there, uh, I commissioned her to do a couple of awards uh, after the AAU Swimming Award. One is to Jack Nelson, who was an Olympic coach and swimmer, and the, ex the other one was because the Greeks were very dedicated to theater, the Broward County Theater Arts Award for the Outstanding uh, High School Drama Students. And Lisa, thank you so much. Uh, I also, before I go a little bit more, is to thank uh, Bob Dunkel, uh, Meg, and uh, Yvonne, and, uh, oh God, here we are, 92 years old, I'm forgetting things. <laughs> The staff of the Swimming Hall of Fame, who put this all together, are to be commended. I know it's a lot of work. And uh, to re rec recognize our outstanding swimmers, diving, water polo players, and sick and swimmers is something that we lend to other persons. Now, going back to the philosophy of imprinting youngsters to have Kalos Kagathos, uh, we have a big problem in the United States on our war on drugs. Millions, hundreds of millions of dollars are spent each year on our war on drugs. It hasn't stopped a drop coming into the United States. In Laguna Beach at the high school, they had a, an auditorium for all the students, and they had a sheriff's department as the honor guest. They told all these students, you take drugs, you go to jail. And I'm rolling my eyes because they're missing the point. Laws, law enforcement, prison, and we have more people in jail than any other nation in the world for a pretty drug right. But if you inspire self-respect, you won't, you won't uh, violate that. And by extension, you have respect for other persons we have respect for the environment and all the creatures there. So here he is, 92 years old. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. But it isn't because some law officer is going to put me in jail. It's because I respect the thing that was very, uh, well, I was born 92 years ago in Saigon. And there, the first thing they do is put you in the water when you're a little baby. 
you remember that you have a great deal of indebtedness uh, to your uh, environment. And because of that, I have created these fantastic awards. The first one uh, was AAU Swimming Award. Uh, they were the governing authority at the time, and I was going to go down to a trophy store and buy this. But Bob Kippeth, the uh, coach at Yale, said, come with me and meet me at Princeton. We have a meet with them. I'll introduce you to Joe Brown. He is the eminent figurative sculpture of, of uh, competition athletics. All the details are there. It's a life-size bronze of Poseidon with two swimmers in between his arms. And I've created, if you go to the Hall of Fame, several commissions that represent the top honors for the member nations of the Swimming Hall of Fame. And I hope that with all we do uh, in swimming, that we remember that you're not going to be anything you want to be unless you respect yourself. And that comes down to the Greeks who started this all 2,500 years ago. And I'm trying to remember now. Yvonne, Meg, uh, Laurie. Laurie, Mark Swinsky, and Bob Duckle. They've been trying for years to get this gold man up here, and they finally got it. They had to create a new category just to do it. 